Dr. JR is having too much fun. <laughs> <laughs> he snacked that like a kid in a candy store. This was Mr. Michael Burnett I met about two years ago. Yeah. Okay. With another company. He had a great idea, great everything, great conversation. But the company we were with, you know, they were not they were not ready for it. They said they were, but they weren't ready, all right? But anyway, we stayed in touch, and he called me about four months ago to fly to Houston to take a look at the same comp type of company, but a different company. And when I met the owners of Entrust, Mr. Michael Burnett, the president was running, I said, guys, we have a chance to do what we said we were going to do, all right? So he's the young man that put the two companies together, his company, his members, and his customers, he brought them to Entrust, and this is where this came from, okay? And the next young man, is they've been partners for years, and he's the one that actually wrote this comp plan. 29 years, never heard anything, never seen, never even heard anything pays like this. And he's going to show you that this afternoon. So unless you have depth in the family, you want to stick around. Mr. Michael Burnett, then introduce your, your buddy, Mr. Roger Hill. Take it away, guys. I got to speak before we eat. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you better be Every real quick. Turn the light on so you get a good picture of him. Turn the light on. Okay. okay. Thank you, everybody, for coming. It's a pleasure to be here. I'll speak quickly. Um, Turn on. This was, this, was, this was really exciting for me today because I'm actually getting to see this actually work. Okay? And what I mean by that is I have not been in the industry like Michael or Ephraim for 29, 30 plus years. I started network marketing five years ago. I have built traditional businesses, like the gentleman said, brick and mortar businesses. And you're right, I've owned bars, restaurants, nightclubs, transportation, trucking companies. I've done it all. And I've worked with City Hall and I've had, you know, uh, tons of employees and I've done the payroll and all that stuff, which is wonderful. Because I've had good years, I've had bad years. I've had, a, I've had a lot of money, I've made a lot of money, I've lost a lot of money. It's like a yo-yo, popcorn, right? I've been through all those ups and downs. So I joined a network marketing company against my better judgment because my experience with network marketing from the people I know is they've been doing it for 29 years, but they've been in 50 different companies, right? And <clears throat> one thing that they had in common, all the people I knew I talked to was all these combined years of network marketing and all these companies, they all had the same outcome. The company failed the people, the company stole the money, nobody got paid. But despite all this, I still joined a network marketing energy company because of one thing. Because as a businessman, not a network marketer, I knew that energy deregulation was bigger than network marketing. Okay. Right? It was bigger than me. It's huge, right? Trillion dollar industry worldwide, right? The only thing better than selling electricity would be selling air, right? Right? Oxygen, right? We need oxygen to breathe, then we need electricity. Everybody does this, it's unconscious. Just like buying gas, you gotta go fill up that gas tank. So my point was, I did my research, I read, I listened to what Bill Gates said, I'm listening to Warren Buffett, I'm listening to all the billionaires talk about energy deregulation, how big it is. I joined a network marketing company, I pay my money to join, I pay my monthly, and guess what? I get off the sofa, I'm a guy that turns off the TV, I have one speed, it's on or off. Yes. So I, I flip the switch, I made a couple million dollars in telecom deregulation, I'm gonna go make a couple million dollars in energy, right? Why, because I don't fail, because I don't quit. I don't fail because I don't quit. The only way to, to fail is to quit, especially with this business, it's too easy. But the company failed me, like it had failed everybody before me, right? The owner of the company takes the customers. He shuts down the company. The, the top two or 3% make all the money and they go off into the sunset and go start some other deal. Well, to be honest, guys, it pissed me off. I got angry. I got mad. I said, I'm no fool. I'm not going to go waste another Super Saturday or talk to another person or burn another bridge in this industry because the industry's broken. It's broken. It's full of greed, right? It's full of snake oil salesmen, con men. And I got fed up with it. I said, it's wrong. Now, legally, right, it may be legal. I looked at these plans and yeah, nobody's breaking the law, it's legal, but ethically, morally, it's broken, okay? These guys know what they're doing. They know that people are gonna fail, the compensation plans are built for the company, not the people. Again, long story short, my apologies, I put a group together to buy this company of businessmen. I put together good men, men like men, men that I felt had a good heart, a heart for people, men that followed the Bible, men that were Christian, men and women. I said, let's do this the right way. 
I said, and let's declare a war on network marketing companies. They said, what are you, crazy? I said, no, I'm not in it for the money. I said, money's great, like you said, Mike. They need money to live. I've got six children to put through college, right? But I want to do something bigger than money. And I had to find a company, I had to find people that agreed with me that wanted to do the same type of thing that I wanted to do, okay? Again, having no real knowledge of network marketing, I have to surround myself with good, honest network marketers, people like Ephraim McDaniels and Sunshine, right? So I sat down with my partner at the time. I said, let's do this. Let's take energy. We understand energy. We understand the products. Let's make this free. Let's make this for the people. Let's build something bigger than ourselves. We went all over America, knocking on doors, and every energy company we ran into said the same thing. Why would we do this? We don't have to do this. People are going to give us the money. It's not illegal, everything that I had seen, everything that I had heard. Well, through a lot of prayer, God said to me a gentleman named Roger Hill. Roger Hill, who's been in network marketing like yourself, Ephraim, for decades, right? His son started in kindergarten when he started a network marketing company. His son's in college, just graduated college, right, Roger? He's still receiving checks. So it works. He did it with a good company. So Roger just so happened to work at NASA. Worked at the Pentagon. So now I got a guy who's brilliant, smarter than me. I always surround myself with people smarter than me. That's not hard, right? <laughs> so I got this guy who's brilliant, smarter than me. He's honest. Like myself, he's a Christian. His priorities are correct, right? He wants to serve God first, not money, not greed. Roger says, I could do this. I could build this, and I want to be a part of this. And he did something that has never been done ever in the history of network marketing. He's going to talk about it. He's going to show you in a little while. but. Back to where I started. It's so good to be here today because when I finally found this company, Infinity Global, we finally found good people. A company that said, okay, we'll roll the dice. And that's why we're, we're faith, family, freedom, okay? Faith, what's the bi biblical definition of faith? Uh, substance of things hoped for, evidence of things not seen, right? This company, when Roger and I met them in Houston, Texas, six months ago, they say, hey, we love what you guys have built. We love your model. We love what you have, Roger, the model that's going to pay the people. But we hired a consulting firm, and they told us to charge you all. So we go into a boardroom thinking we've got the right company, with Trust Energy Infinity Global. We're going to do this. And right out of left field, crack, our jaws hit the ground in this boardroom. What are you talking about? You can't charge people. Your faith, family, freedom. Have some faith in people. We said this is about the people. You charge people, we're gone. Ephraim's gone, everybody's gone. It's over before it starts, okay? So they decide to take a chance, faith. This company spent over a million dollars to get here today. And they believe, like we believe, that if we teach people how to do this business the right way, we don't lie, cheat, and steal, we're transparent, right? Like, like you said, doctor, you got paid for the first time 30 days, a guy gets a check. Man got a check. Nobody gets a check in this business, right? Not, definitely not 30 days. I don't care if it's $5. It doesn't happen. We're changing the way network marketing companies do business. Right now, it's happening as we sit here. And it's going to get bigger and bigger. All the marbles are going to roll to our end of the table. All the big monster leaders in this industry who understand it, right? Like Jason Bourne says, they know network marketing like a doctor knows medicine. When they get a hold of this, it's over, right? And everything in life is timing, so we're here today. We're here in the beginning. So I, I want to thank everybody for being here. I appreciate it. I'll talk to everybody a little bit later. I don't want to hold you up for eating. Let me bring up Roger Hill real quick. My business partner.